Good afternoon and thank you for joining us for CBS 6 News at Noon. I'm Ann McCloy. A controversial email deletion policy now nixed after the governor's office held its long-awaited transparency, transparency summit. Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard is live in studio. Kimberly, the governor's office took a lot of flack about expanding this email policy. What will we see change here? Well, and a couple of things. First, emails sent and received within all state agencies will no longer be automatically deleted after 90 days. The governor's counsel said he spent quite a bit of time analyzing email retention policies in all 50 states and in both the public and private sector sectors. He determined the best way to move forward is for emails to manually be deleted. But he points out that not all emails were subject to automatic deletion in the first place. Uh, if I sent an email to someone to go to lunch, that is not considered a record. If I send an email with an attachment of a state contract, that could be a record. Uh, and that has been the law in New York State for years. So what we're speaking about largely is about non-records and creating a uniform policy that governs non-records. Now, during the summit, the governor's office also announced legislation that would expand freedom of information laws. Right now, they say the legislature isn't held to the same standard when it comes to what should be available to the public this proposed law would make sure that the legislature, the attorney general's office, the comptroller's office, and the governor's office are all subject to the same level of foil. Live in studio, Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News.